Ammonia emissions are a serious threat to the environment and to public health. So it's only logical that the countries of the European Union have committed to reducing their ammonia emissions by between 10% and 30% by 2030. The United Nations has recommended a simple way to cut ammonia emissions by 10% in Europe today. Let's look at the science behind this claim. Most ammonia emissions are generated by agriculture, especially livestock, although mineral fertilizers also play a significant role. That said, not all mineral fertilizers emit the same amount of ammonia. The difference can be substantial. Chemistry explains why. As crops cannot absorb urea, it is first converted to ammonium and then to nitrates. Ammonia is emitted during this process. The use of ammonium nitrate bypasses most of this polluting process. Adding inhibitors to urea reduces some of the emissions. But urea with inhibitors still emits five times more than ammonium nitrate. The United Nations has done the math. Ammonium nitrate emits 90% less ammonia than urea, which is why the United Nations recommends switching from urea to ammonium nitrate fertilizer. Using the United Nations calculations as our starting point, at Yara, we've come to a startling conclusion. More than 10% of current ammonia emissions in Europe could be eliminated immediately, today, simply by adopting the United Nations recommendation. We estimate this will generate health benefits worth at least 6 billion euros per year. See our fact sheet to learn more.